let's head over to Chicago. And we're not going to go over to Chicago based off of the crime. All right. We're just going to try to spend 10 minutes per segment and we're going to break this down. We're not going over to Chicago for the crime right now. I think the bigger crime, aside from the cultural issues and the wars that's happening as far as different funerals is getting shot up, is how are we using our taxpayer money? And the whole theme of this show is taxpayer money. Where are your dollars going? And this is what I want people to really pay attention to because it's not just the people in Chicago. It's also uh, the state of Illinois and it's the federal government. All of our tax dollars is being used in a bad way, in my opinion. All of our tax dollars is being used negatively. But for some reason, we disassociate ourselves with it and we give the federal government a pass to not be accountable for how they're using our dollars. And if somebody went to your house and they took your money out, would you be pissed? Would you be pissed if somebody went to your house and they grabbed your money? How is it any different when they can take your dollars and then they're going to determine what they're going to do with it? I'm just curious. But anyways, migrant funds is being sent to Chicago, being used in Chicago, and there had to be lawsuits that was filed before we could really uncover what was going on. This is how bad the problem is in the city. Now to NBC5 Investigates, which for months has followed the money trail tied to Chicago's migrant mission. Total spending now tops more than $400 million. Now, despite the creation of a city spending website, it's still not exactly clear where all of that money has gone. In this follow-up report, investigative reporter Bennett Haberly uncovers some new information not shared by the city. Consider these numbers. More than 6,000 people still live in city-run migrant shelters. I don't know if y'all really caught how much money is being spent already, just in Chicago alone. Let me rewind it for y'all, just for the people in the back. In a city spending website, it's still not exactly clear where all of that money has gone. In this follow-up report, in tops more than $400 million. Since the migrant crisis, and we don't know if they actually track it as, as effectively because we don't know how much this costs in us in police services. We don't know how much that's costing us as far as the time and the dedication is being taken away from teachers and other students. So the real cost, it can't truly be calculated. Whenever a police officer has to take away from this part of the city in order to go and respond and police what's going on in migrant services, whenever you got to dedicate uh, other things that was initially reserved for Chicago residents and taxpayers, you can't really put a price tag on it because you can't really tackle exactly what the true cost is. But from what they can tally as far as what's actually being distributed from taxpayer dollars, $400 million in Chicago. We Look, we talking about this money like it ain't nothing, like it's $400. Almost a half of a billion dollars for a city that's running a deficit is being spent on migrants, migrant housing, health care, so on and so forth. With no real transparency and accountability of who these companies are or who these people are that's benefiting from it. Let me say that one more time. I want you to really grasp this and take this in. $400 million has already been spent with no end in sight with over, over 6,000 migrants still being housed and more coming into the city every single day for a city that's running the deficit and that got a crime problem and can't pay their police officers and is down over 2,000 police officers that don't even own their own streets, whose alderman has voted to give themselves a raise. I've seen a, a clip where Warren Buffett said that he could fix the deficit problem and he said, anytime that you're running a deficit, more than 3% of the GDP, then you basically hold Congress members and legislators accountable for how they're spending the money by reducing how much they make um, and their salary. And then you would solve for people that actually is more responsible with our tax dollars. $400 million in Chicago alone. Should I stop bringing this to light and holding them accountable? Now, despite the creation of a city spending website, it's still not exactly clear where all of that money has gone. In this follow-up report, investigative reporter Bennett Haberly uncovers some new information not shared by the city. Consider these numbers. More than 6,000 people still live in city-run migrant shelters. 
that means costs are still adding up. Since August of 2022, the city of Chicago has spent more than $400 million, according to the city's spending website. Nearly $253 million went to one private company. With these generic names, favorite health care staffing, a quarter of a billion dollars has already went to favorite health care staffing. We don't know who the owner is. We don't know who the CEO is. We don't know nothing. I bet you that this CEO or whoever it was that's been running this company was over in Monaco uh, during the Grand Prix, running it up with a, with a Bugatti sitting on the back of his yacht and having some of the best cars ever. Man, we are missing out. We, we so focus on the small dollars. I need to be owning a favorite healthcare staffing out here in these streets. Kansas-based favorite healthcare staffing, which staffs the shelters. Another 76 million went to Equitable Social Solutions. That company, uh, LLC, company partnered with another called ReloShare, which helped identify and sign lease agreements with property owners of the buildings that eventually became the migrant shelters. That's where a number of those leases are. But when we asked the city months ago for copies of these lease agreements, we were given just nine out of 27. The use of these private companies has helped mask from public view where the public dollars have flowed. What we didn't know until now is- So we still never gonna know who really getting paid, right? How much the property owners of the migrant shelters were earning. But thanks to a new lawsuit, we're being provided some more clarity. A lending company filed this lawsuit last month against two Chicago developers, alleging they did not make it clear when they signed a loan agreement that the bill. So in order for you to really know what's going on, this is why I laugh at people when they say, you know, lawsuit money and all of this stuff, because all of that would be public information. All of it would be public information. Every lawsuit, any money that's that's recouped or any lawsuit that's filed has to be shown and public record and public information. So the only reason that the people that are searching for what's going on in Chicago found out what was going on in Chicago is because somebody filed a lawsuit against one of their partners. I guess they probably had a dispute and then it started to come out into the wash as far as how the city is participating in funding and getting a lot of these guys rich. Building in the West Loop would be used to house migrants. What is not in dispute is that the owners of the Ogden shelter are paid $150,000 a month by Relo Share as part of a use agreement. That means in a year's time, they'd receive more than $1.8 million. Could you imagine owning a building, just a regular ran down warehouse building over in Chicago, and <laughs> the city comes and says, hey man, we need to go and house these migrants. And you just throw a random number out there. $150,000 a month for you to develop and use my space to house migrants. But that's not all. The lease agreement also calls for additional payments of up to $400,000 if the number of migrants inside the Ogden shelter exceeds 650. So if the mi number of migrants inside of what this makeshift shelter is not only are you getting $150,000 a month of taxpayer dollars, but you also get a bonus. So we want you to overflow the migrant shelter, the, the makeshift migrant shelter. If it's over a certain amount of people, you can get a bonus of $400,000 on top of it. Did they meet that threshold? The latest figures show more than 700 people still live here. If they're Absolutely. 100%. So somebody is just rolling in money. Listen, this is the only thing that I've ever heard of what true passive income looks like. This right here is who do you know? How do you get your foot in the door? This is the true definition of passive income. If you want to get some money, go to New York. If you want to really, really get some money, go to Chicago, go to Los Angeles, become a developer, own some buildings, and then wait for the carnage to happen so that you can really capitalize off of the incompetence of your mayors, your legislators, your governors, and then you could get a bag. It's going to be taxpayer money, but it don't matter. It all spend the same. Public dollars involved. Shouldn't the public know where they flow? 100%. Back in March, Alderman Andre Vasquez, um, the chair of the city council's migrant committee, 
told us aldermen themselves have had a hard time accounting for all the spending. That's still the question. That's when we attempted to ask Mayor Brandon Chair, Johnson Chair about this at the Thank time, he question. said this. Again, we're meeting you right where you are. Were it not for this new lawsuit, the public would have no idea how much these property owners are earning. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank we you. We so pressed much the mayor here. about this last well. week and asked if he would consider adding the information to the city's website. He said this. We have given an accurate account of how dollars have been spent. Th that's it? Is, is there anything that would preclude your administration from sharing that level of there's, detail? There's though? no information that has, been, that has been kept from you. Johnson then reiterated talking points he's made before, how he's renegotiated contracts to save taxpayer money, and how Congress has failed to provide additional financial relief. Why should we and uh, give our money to the federal government only for Congress to give y'all money more money so that y'all can give it over to these companies that we don't even know who own them? He also doubled down, incorrectly stating that all spending information is available. That information is available to you, sir. Not all of it, though, is, sir. I mean, that's Can the point. you give me a specific example of uh, what's not did. available? The, the, the Ogden shelter in the West Loop, that, that's what is spelled out in this lawsuit, that they get $150,000 just for being the property owner per month. Nowhere is that available on the city spending website. My question, again, is simply, is there anything that would preclude you from including that level of detail? You guys have said you're transparent. Why not show it? All of the information related to the spending to this mission is available. So that's it. That that's just, that's just the end of it. No, no more context. No additional understanding. No better. You know who's going. Who's this going to? The default answer is no, 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 no. Everything is available. No, no, no. We we we've no context. He said, listen. They making all of this money. Who are these people? Why is it so many bonuses? What's happening? Listen, listen. We 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 haven't hid any information from you guys. Who is getting rich over in Chicago as a result of this migrant crisis? Per month, one fifty thousand plus a four hundred thousand dollar bonus for exceeding the amount of people that's supposed to be there. That ain't got nothing to do with healthcare. That ain't got nothing to do with food. That don't have nothing to do with, with uh, transportation. None of that. That's just that one building, and they have multiple different buildings all across the city. Who is getting rich and who is getting paid from this? Just wanted to make sure that I brought that to y'all attention. Didn't want to spend any more than 10 minutes on it. Just want to make sure y'all know that we on top of things and we going to pay attention to what's happening out in these streets. This is a bigger fish to fry. There's more things for us to pay attention to than just who, who busting who down and who getting who pregnant. It's real money that's being spent out here and y'all, y'all the ones that's bearing the brunt of it. All right.